and he'll show you his mercy. Believe the promises of God, and he'll show you his grace, and he'll show you his kindness. Believe the promises of God, and he'll set you free. God will take you places. God will help you. God will show you his mercy. He'll show you his love. God will show you, but you have to believe in him and have faith in him. He is a kind and gracious and patient God. He is kind and he's calling you today. Don't put your faith in this generation. Don't put your faith in the politicians of today. Don't put your faith in the political correctness of this day, of this age. This age is finished. This age is gone. This age is not an age to believe in or trust in. This age is an age that is destined for the planet and the world. It's an age that is rejected God. You put your faith in the Messiah. You put your faith in Him. For He will help you in the storm. And He will help you in the day of trouble. He will help you in the problems of life. He will help you when you need Him. He will help you when you cry out to Him. He is the one who is the storm. He is the one who is the God. He is the one that can help you. You've got to cry out to Him, my friend. And He will carry you in the midst of the storm. And He will carry you in the midst of problems. That's why he came and died on that cross. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, what magnificent love that the Son of God would die on that cross. What magnificent love that the Son of God would die for you. And that is the only hope for our generation. The only hope for our generation is to know that when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, that is the hope of our generation. The Son of God who died on that cross. The Son of God who gave his life. He was broken for you on that cross. He was broken and all he demands is that you believe that he gave his life for you. All he demands is that you cry out to him and believe in him and trust in him. Do you want a meaning in your life? Do you want a purpose in your life? Do you want a direction in your life? Then believe on the Son of God. And he will set you free. And he will give you life more abundant. He will give you peace. He will give you joy. He will give you a life better than you've ever had. A life so full. A life so full of joy. A life so full of hope. A life so full of peace. A life that is new. A life that is wonderful. A new life in Jesus. The old is gone and the new has come. The old has passed away and we become into the new. That is what he has for you today. Just like you were going by a new car, today you can have a new life. And that new life starts by believing in your Savior. He is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Some people say Jesus was not the Son of God. Some people say that he was just a prophet. No, no. When they crucified Jesus, they asked him, are you the Son of God? And he said, yes. The word Son of God has the idea that he is divine, that he is God. He is the Son of God. And when he died, he died as the God-man for you and me. He gave his life so that you can live. My friends, come to him today. There's a new life for you. There's a new hope for you. Please don't cling on to this world. This world is passing away. This world is passing away. Do you remember the great empire of Egypt with all its great pyramids? The Egyptian empire thought it was powerful. It had the pharaoh, it had the pyramids, and it thought it was a great. But where is Egypt today? The empire has passed away. Rome thought it was great with all its mega empire, with all its coliseums and gladiator fights. It thought it was great. But where is Rome today? Its empire has passed away. The empire of man is passing away. With all his knowledge, with all his nuclear weapons, with all his ability to do whatever he can, send people to the moon and all the rest, it's all passing away. But Jesus is not passing away. It's not passing away. He will not pass away. In, in, in Syria and Iraq, ISIS have killed hundreds of young men. They've taken bullets and they've shot them in the head. I've seen it. Hundreds of young men. They've slaughtered and killed them. 
This world is an evil world. But Jesus Christ is coming back one day. And he's coming back to judge ISIS. He's coming back to judge men and women. He's coming back. But before he comes back, he's given us hope. He's given us hope today. He's given us a way out today. He's given us his love today. His peace today. His joy today. He's calling us to believe in his peace. He's calling us to believe in his joy. And believe in his hope. And in his love today. Please hear my cry today. Stop believing in the media today. And the media is pumping you. Propaganda. Twisting your mind. Telling you that you need this. Or you need a new car. Or you need a new house. Or you need the, the latest high boy or the latest iPhone. The media is twisting your mind. The media tells you that there is no truth. That all truth is the same. That is the media, the propaganda of the media, the propaganda of a politically correct age. And this politically correct age, it's just a dogma. It's a dogma. The politically correct age of today is just a dogma without any foundation, without any intellectual foundation. This age is falling apart. 